good for me. I don't know. All right. Okay. So, welcome back to CKTV. We've got a boys game with Claysburg Kimball Bulldogs against Phantom Metal. Looks like Claysburg's going to get the jump ball there. Point guard number 22, Elias Ritchie, carrying the ball down the court. Aiden Simpson looks for a shot, passes it out to Elias Ritchie, who turns the ball over. Number 30 for Phantom Metal, looking to set up a play here. Passes. They're going to call a foul on number two, Braden Haney. Number 21 for Phantom Metal passes the ball into number 15. Fifteen looks to go to the hoop, but turns it over to number 33, Anthony Napolitano. Number 22, Elias Ritchie looks for a shot, and it's good. Phantom Metal just seems to be passing the ball around here, looking for someone who's open. Number 15 looks for the hoop, but he bounces off the rim. Number two, Braden Haney looks for the three, but he's just short. Aiden Simpson gets his rebound and makes a layup. Oh, it's pretty close to the line there, but they're not going to call anything on that. Number 21 steals the ball from Elias Ritchie, goes for the layup, and he makes it. Number 22 looks for the hoop, but he misses. 15 for Phantom Meadow gets the rebound, takes the ball down the court. They're going to call him for a double dribble, though. Number 30 for Phantom Metal with the steal. Passes it down to 21, who makes the shot. Might have been a walk there, but... Nothing the refs saw, I guess. Number 22 looks for the three. Bounces off the back of the rim. Number 42, Corey Walters gets the rebound and makes the shot. Number 21 for Phantom Metal makes a shot down at their end of the court. Some 
Seems like he really likes to use his feet there. Coach Harris does not seem to be happy. Very unhappy. They're going to call a kickoff of number 21. It's Claysburg's ball. Pittsburgh's just passing the ball around here. Really can't seem to get anyone open. Number 22 looks for the shot. He just misses. But Corey, Le Corey Walters gets the rebound and makes the shot. Number 32 for Fanet Metal makes the shot down on the side of the court. Number 2, Brayden Haney, looks for a three. He just misses. Number 32, Aiden Simpson. 52, Aiden Simpson. Makes the shot. I'm not really sure what the slapping strategy is down here, but it's I think it's more annoying me more than it's annoying the players on the court. Number 33 for Phantom Metal. Makes a three. That kid is quite tall. Number two, Braden Haney looks for the shot. He misses, gets his own rebound, shoots again. He's made it that time. We haven't really seemed to have many fouls here right during this uh, first quarter. But just about one on Braden Haney near the end. Whoa, they're going to call a block on number 52, Aiden Simpson. If you ask me, I think his feet were planted, but questionable. <laughs> Number 15 misses his first foul shot. He does make his second, though. That puts the score at 12-14. Fanet Meadows up by two. Number 40, Christian Trion looks for the three. Just misses it though. Number 52, Aiden Simpson gets his rebound and makes the shot for the Bulldogs.
Number 33. I don't even think that was a layup. I don't know what that was. Makes the shot down here for Fanon Meadow. Corey Walters makes the three down here for the Bulldogs. Number 33 for Fanet Meadows, just looking, looking to waste time here. Number 32 sets a screen for Fanet Metal. Looks to go to the hoop, and he makes it. And that will be the end of the first quarter. Score 17-19, Fanet Meadows up by two. We are back for the second quarter. It's going to be fan at metal. Fan at metal's ball. Number 30 looks for the shot. And he makes it. Number two for the Bulldogs will be taking the ball down the court for a change here. There's a that ball's all over the court. Number 33 looks for the three. That's a mouthful. They're going to call a foul on number 30 for Phantom Metal. and Nisley comes in for Braden Haney. Braden Nisley looks to pass, but bounces it off the hand of number 15. clapping again. Um, anyways. Number 33 holding the ball to waste time here. Number 15 looks for the shot and he makes it. This is going to be a pretty close game. Not many fouls going on. We just came to seem to keep scoring. Wow. Sorry. Number 33 gets the rebound there and he makes the shot for Granite Metal.
Number 40, Christian Triano, rushes to the hoop, passes it out to Peyton Nisley, who looks for the three, but bounces just off the back of the rim there. Ooh. Number 52, Aiden Simpson, looks for the shot there, but ends up falling on the ground. Number 32 looks for a shot there, completely misses the rim, and it lands in the, ha the hands of Christian Trion, who takes it down the court for a layup. And that will be a Claysburg timeout. And we are back from that timeout. Number two, Braden Haney. Ooh. Number two, Braden Haney gets that pass in, passes it to number 40, Christian Treon. I missed it. They put Dougie in the game. Number 40, Christian Trion looks for the three. And it's good. Number 30 looks like he might want to shoot there, but decides to pass it out. Gets passed back into him, and he makes the layup. That puts our score at 22-29. Fandom medals up by six, seven. Sorry, math's hard. <laughs> Number two, Braden Haney looks for the shot, bounces it off the rim. Number 11 gets the rebound for Fandom Metal. Number 15 for Phantom Metal looks for the three. Bounces it off the rim. That had some high arc to it. They're gonna call number 55, Landon Douglas on a travel. I don't know how I feel about that call. Claysburg looks to press here. Pass down to number 11, who looks for the shot, but Anthony Napolitano blocks his view. Number 40, Christian Trion bounces it off the hands of 21, who takes the ball for Fanet Metal. Number 32 looks for a shot there. Misses it, but number 40 gets the rebound for Claysburg.
they're gonna call a block on number. I'm not really sure who that foul was on. Number 21 for Phantom Metal. Number two, Braden Haney passes the ball back into 55. Sorry, we're really moving the ball around the court here. Phantom Metal gets the steal though. Number 15 looks for the three, but he misses it. Ooh. Uh, Aiden Simpson might be hurt. No, he's back up. Well, actually, he might be hurt. Anyways, number two, Braden Haney gets the um, layup there. They're going to call a injury timeout. Looks like his tooth might have been not knocked out, but elbowed, possibly. I think he's okay. Number 15 for Phantom Metal looks for the jump shot. Misses it. Number 42, Corey Waters gets the rebound. Number 55, Landon Douglas looks for the three. Puts a little too much muscle on it. I'm not really sure what the call was there but it's going to be Phantom Metal's ball. I think it was an out-of-bounds call. Coach Harris also did not know what was going on. I feel for him. They're going to call a foul, I think, on number... Not really sure. Number 15. Okay, number 15. Number 55, Landon Douglas passes the ball into number two. Number 22, Elias Ritchie looks for the three, but just misses. Bennett Meadows got the ball now. Number 11 for Phantom Metal. Looks to shoot, but can't get open. Number 30 is just wasting time right now. There's only about 30 seconds left on the clock here. Number 30 just wasting some more time. They're passing the ball around a little bit, but they're not really looking to shoot. Number 21 looks for the layup. Passes it over the hoop to number 33. He makes the shot. There's about eight seconds left on the clock here. They're just looking to get the ball down the court. Ooh. That bounced off the hands of Bird and Haney. There's exactly one second left on the clock. It is fan at Metal's ball, though. It looks like Claysburg is going to press for this last second here. <laughs> fan at Metal just decides to hold the ball there. But that will be the end of the first quarter.
We are back for the third quarter here. Ooh, number 33. Ooh, they're going to call it off white there, but it seems like it hit off both the hands of 21 and 33, Anthony Napoli. Phantom Mendel seems to just be passing the ball around down here. The pass bounces off the hands of number 22, Elias Scritchy. He passes it down to number two, Baden Haney. He makes the layup. Overall, this has been a pretty close game with a very, very fast first half. 21 was wide open there for a second. Number 32 looks for the shot. He misses a number two, Burden Haney gets the rebound. Number 33, Anthony Napolitano passes it to number two, Burden Haney. Glazeberg just seems to be moving the ball down around the court right now. Number two, Burden Haney looks for the hoop, but just misses. Ooh. Oh. There's a little fight down here. Oh, well, I wouldn't call it a fight, but anyways. Number 52, Aiden Simpson. Passes the ball down. Looks to set a screen, but the pass from number 22 is incomplete. 15 looks for the shot for Fernand Metal, but just misses the three. Number 22, Elias Ritchie takes the ball down the court. Number 52, Aiden Simpson looks for the shot, and it's good. I think that was a timeout for Bandit Metal? Not sure, but. Number 30 for Phantom Metal takes the ball down the court. Ooh, that was a pass from 21 wide over the head of number 15. Going to go out of bounds and going to be Claysburg's ball. Number 33, Anthony DiPolitano is passing the ball into number 22, Elias Ritchie. Who takes the ball down the court? Kind of gets stuck in the bottom corner there. Braden Haney comes and gets the ball from him. Looks to pass, but ends up hitting off the hands of number 21. Oh. Little dispute there between number 21 and number 2. Braden Haney passes it out to number 42, Corey Walters. Number 22, Elias Ritchie looks for the three. Just misses and hits it off the back rim there.
Number 33 drives into the middle of the court, but doesn't seem to do much. Passes it back out to number 30. Number 32 looks like he might want to shoot there, but ends up passing it back out. Again, with this clapping, I do apologize. Number 32 looks for a wide open three. Hits the rim now. Number 52, Aiden Simpson gets the rebound. Number two, Brayden Haney looks for the shot, but just misses. <laughs> Fanet Metal has number 33 passing the ball into number 30. I do have to say about a uh, oh someone's being a little dramatic anyways looks like fan at metal is going to call a time out there And we are back from that timeout. It is Fanet Metal's ball. Number 32 looks for the hoop and he makes the layup. That puts the score at 30 33 with Fanet Metal up by just one three pointer. Oh, that looks like it could have been a push there, but I'm not quite sure. A quite risky pass by Aiden Simpson. Clearsburg gets the rebound though and looks for the shot. And Braden Haney makes it. Puts it a pretty tight game. And a metal just seems to be moving the ball around down, down here. Number 21 passes it to 32, who looks for the shot, but gets blocked by number 42, Corey Walters. Number 21 looks for the three. He misses. Clayberg misses that rebound there, though. Number 15 looks for the three, but misses the entire rim there. It's okay. Number 22, Elias Ritchie, looks for a shot, but it doesn't land. Ooh. 
Number 21 looks for the layup there, but he uh, just misses it. They're going to call a technical foul on um, Finn Metal's coach. Not sure what words were exchanged, but that was the first technical I've seen this season. I didn't think this game was supposed to be that rowdy. Sorry, that was crazy. Definitely not expected. But Claysburg is going to have Braden Haney shoot their foul shots. He makes the first one. That does tie the score up at 33-33 with about 55 seconds left in the third quarter. And he makes the second one, putting the Bulldogs up by one. I really wish I knew what was said by the Phantom Oak. Fan at metal coach to get teed up because that was crazy. Definitely was not expected. Oh, ref is telling him to sit down, so I don't know if it was that bad. Well, I don't know. Could have been that bad. Number 52 sets a screen for number two, Brayden Haney, who tries to get open but can't. Passes it down to number 42, Corey Walters, who makes the layup. I do have to say, Corey Walters has been fi on fire recently. Per that's my personal opinion now. But for a 10th grader starting varsity, that he's doing really good. Ooh, the ball's open on the court. Number two, Brayden Haney gets it off the floor. Oh, number 52 looks just at a screen there, but number 15 picks up on it. Corey Walters shoots again. I'm telling you, kids on fire. That's one thing I like about Corey, though. He's always humble. Like, there's no celebration. Oh, number 30 makes a buzzer beater. Number er, three there. We'll put the score at 38-36. Claysburg's up. We are back for the fourth quarter. Bennett Meadow has the ball. They're just wasting some time now. Ooh, number 33 looks for the hoop, but can't get open. There's a lot of yelling from the Facebook bench. They really aren't doing much over here, though. Just passing the ball around. No one's really open. Number 32 looks like he wants to shoot, but passes it to 33. They're going to call a foul on the floor. 
Phantom Meta fans aren't really happy about how this game is being officiated tonight. Number 15 passes it to 21, who gets the layup there. That was a good play, though. Way, good way to get him open. They're going to call a timeout here so you can, Brayden Haney can tie his shoe. Number 40, Christian Trion looks for the three. And he makes it. I do have to say, he's also been on fire recently. If you were, uh, had the privilege of viewing the um, sideline cancer game at Northern Bedford, Corey Walters and Christian Trion qu played quite well. I do have to say, for 10th graders playing on varsity, it's a really good job. Fifteen looks for a three there, but barely misses. Twenty-one looks for the shot, and they don't call a foul on him, but there were a lot of hands in that situation there. Fifty-two, Aiden Simpson looks for the shot. Ooh, spins around the hoop, goes in and out. There's only about five minutes left in this game here. Number 30 with the three for Phantom Metal. Puts the score all tied up at 41-41. It's gonna be a pretty close game here. Ooh, number two was open there for a second, but I don't think that was the best decision. Number 30 for Phantom Metal has the ball now. Bennett Metal just seems to be passing the ball around here. Number 15 looks for the shot, and I don't think it was good. It wasn't, it wasn't. It looked really close, though. Number two, Brayden Haney passes it to number 22, Elias Ritchie. Number 40, Christian Trion looks for the three. Oh, it's really close. Passes it back out, looks for the three again. Oh, he just misses it. But Corey Walters gets the points there. What can I say? These 10th graders, they're just on fire. Christian Trion looks to steal the ball there, but it just misses. It gets past to number 15, who drives into the hoop, and he makes the jump shot. Tying it back up again at 43-43. Like I said, this is a really competitive game, but there's a lot of scoring going on. A lot of two points down here, two points down there, three points down here, three points down there. So it's been tied up for a majority of the game. Number two, Braden Haney looks for the shot, but he misses it. And number 34, Phantom Metal gets the rebound. Number 30 is just holding the ball here, looking to waste some time. I think Claysburg's in the zone right now, though, so I don't think they're going to press. I do definitely think we're in a zone, actually. They're just wasting time, though. 
they're going to say the pressure's being put on, though. Ooh, 33 passes to 32 for a wide three. Tips off the hand. Oh. They're going to call a foul on number 40, Christian Treon, but I think that was clean. I'm not sure, though. I don't always have the best view, but number 32 for Fairnet Metal is going to be shooting three foul shots. He misses his first foul shot. He makes his second one. And he misses his third one, but he gets his own rebound. Fanet Metal is gonna look Fanet Metal is just gonna look to waste some time here. Fifteen looks for the hoop, but he misses. Luckily Evan Simpson gets the rebound there. And number two, Braden Haney is going to take the ball out on the court. Number 40, Christian Trion passes to number two. Yeah! And he makes the three. It's going to put the score at 46-44. Just a two-point game right now with a minute and 40 seconds left. sure what happened there. There might have been a timeout called. We are back from that timeout. Number 32 just passes it out to number 30, who hands it off to number 33. Number 21 gets pushed on the floor there. Looks like 33 wants to set a screen, but doesn't work in their favor, and they end up missing the shot. There's just under a minute left, and Bennett Meadows going to put the pressure on. They're going to call a full timeout. Claysburg will be back up.
we are back from that timeout. It's going to be Claysburg's ball, and number 40, Christian Treon, has it out of bounds. Ooh. Passes it down court to number two, Braden Haney. Looks to set a screen there. Works pretty well, pretty well. They are playing some aggressive defense now. Looks like three or four people. Oh, that was clearly, okay. Never mind, they got it, they got it, sorry. Looks like that was a hold on number 21. That will be his third foul of the night. Christian Trion does the exact same thing, passing it down court to number two. Gonna foul again. I think they're just trying to get the ball here. Probably gonna keep fouling. Does the same thing, but passes it down court to number 22, and they're gonna foul again. I'm pretty sure the strategy here right now is they're gonna keep fouling until Bandit Metal gets the ball here because it's a really close game. They're only down by two with about 30 seconds left in the game. They're just looking for a pass in where they can get the ball themselves. That was, that was a smart play by Christian. They're going to foul again. That will be 15's third foul. None of them are really like to the point where they can't foul out yet. And even when they do, with this like type of time that they have left here, they um, can afford the foul. We're gonna call another foul on, um, I'm not really sure who that foul was on, but I think it was on the floor. Wasn't on the floor, sorry. That was a foul on number 32. That would actually be his first foul of the game. Which is pretty impressive for having him play the whole game. But these two shots here can really seal the deal for Claysburg. And this is the first one. Bennett Metal really needs this rebound here. He makes his second one. And Coach Harris is going to call a, a half timeout. We'll be back right after that. And we are back from that timeout. Bennett Meadows ball now. They're really looking to score here. They're going to need two two pointers or at least a three to tie it out. Oh. So they get the ball down court here and they call an immediate timeout. It's going to be a full timeout. And we'll be back right
We are back from that timeout. Bennett Meadows really looking to score here. But Claysburg's going to play some intense defense. 33 looks for the three. Just misses it in. I think that is a foul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Foul. On number. Well, the foul was on number 42, but it was caused by 15. That is his fourth foul, but I mean, there is eight seconds left in the game. However, Phantom Metal is in bonus now, which means each foul will cost two foul shots. However, that might be strategy right now, though. But I know Corey is pretty good at foul shots. Depends, though. But if they can get this rebound here with eight seconds left, they might have a chance to shoot a three and tie the game up. Corey makes that shot, and that seems the deal for Claysburg here. Unless they get fouled on a three. They missed their three. There's one second left. And that will be a Claysburg Bulldogs win. This end score is 48-44. Bulldogs win by four points, and we will see you at the next one.